Good morning, Paul Georgie from Allendale. It's April 11th, 2011. The um, government found money to uh, put a budget together here over the weekend, so uh, everything is operating there, and um, markets are uh, reacting somewhat from that as uh, the dollar is quiet here this morning. Crude oil has uh, backed off from uh, being 50 to 75 higher overnight, down $1.33 right now. Gold is finding a little bit of uh, selling pressure here, while silver is uh, stronger. So uh, a little profit-taking is what uh, we would see here today. Grain markets have uh, backed off. Corn uh, opened sharply higher last night, and now uh, setting around the unchanged area in the May contract, while December is down a few cents. So spreaders are going to uh, impact this thing again today. Uh, we're expecting to see some more uh, spreading between the corn and the soybeans. Uh, news out of the uh, uh, soybean market, however, is the spreads between U.S. soybeans and Argentina and, and South America beans. Uh, rumors that China had bought a lot of uh, soybeans last week. Uh, we think if they did, they bought it out of uh, Argentina or Brazil because of the spread relationships between U.S. soybeans and uh, Brazil and Argentina. The advantage definitely goes to South America there. We wouldn't even be surprised that we see some uh, reports here this week that uh, China has switching some cargoes from U.S. to South America because of this uh, better basis coming out of that region. The uh, other announcements overnight, Kofco, the uh, buying arm in China for grains, uh, said that they put the uh, uh, soybean imports at around 53 to 54 million metric tons this year. They also announced that uh, they've got capacity to uh, crush up to 110,000 metric tons of uh, soybeans on a yearly basis, and that right now, because of the poor crush uh, margins, they're only uh, processing at the rate of about 40 percent. So uh, not a lot of uh, real positive news there for the uh, uh, for the soybean market. Also coming out of Brazil and Argentina, the weather is uh, in pretty decent shape here where the harvest is going strong. Uh, there is some moisture around, but no heavy long-lasting rains to uh, to stall that harvest, so uh, getting underway uh, there. In the corn market, China did uh, say overnight uh, that uh, DDGs uh, imported by China have come to a standstill here uh, in March, and uh, because of their anti-dumping uh, uh, probe that they've been doing here in the U.S., uh, weather conditions uh, could be supportive for corn as the uh, 6 to 10 day looks wet for most of the Midwest. Uh, and then in the 11 to 16 day even has some moisture in it. So uh, should provide support for the new crop uh, corn on any type of weakness here uh, as we go into the uh, uh, trade this week. Uh, wheat market uh the dry conditions in Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas area still persists. The hard red wheat acres are, and wheat crop in that area certainly doesn't look like it's getting any better. We're hearing a lot of the uh, fires in Texas uh, continue to uh, take wheat acres uh, out of production or out of the, the potential for harvest. So uh, should provide some support there, especially to the Kansas City wheat. In the livestock trade, uh, choice uh, beef was down 34 on Friday, select up 25. Uh, the spreads, again, are the main focus in the uh, livestock or in the cattle because of the uh, price relationships of April, June, and August cattle, all in that very closely uh, close range of, of prices. There should be much more difference there. We're going into a time period from now into June where uh, supplies of cattle should increase and there, uh, therefore the spread should 
show that something to uh, monitor very closely. Take a look at the uh, trade recommendations we've got out on uh, our uh, Allendale Research Center, or just give us a call, and we'd be happy to uh, discuss that with you. In the hog trade, cutout values there were up 52. Uh, markets are called steady a little better here this morning. Uh, the opposite is happening in the pork complex where uh, sl hog slaughter here in recent weeks have been running about seven-tenths of a percent or nearly one percent below the uh, the estimates or a year ago, below a year ago where uh, the USDA Hogs and Pigs report says that we should be running even with a year ago. So kind of getting uh, some positive feelings there. Futures are being affected by the uh, overall uh, fund selling, liquidation type selling that uh, that we see in uh, in the commodities markets here from time to time. So uh, stay tuned, Allendale. We'll keep you informed. And if you got any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call here at 800-262-7538. Uh, we wish you a very successful trading day. We'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Thank you.